taking a peek at the key fob for the Kia EV9. I love that like white rocky texture that you get along the fob. It looks good. Got your Kia badge there. There's a lock button, unlock button, trunk release, horn or panic alarm. And then along the back, there's remote start and then a frunk release as well. So a few things. There also would be the option for the remote smart parking assistant when you get into the GT line version of the vehicle. Let's say if there was a car next to you and it's too close for you to get into the driver's door, what you're gonna do, make sure you're locked first. You're gonna push and hold that circle button in order to remote start. So the car you can see there has now been remote started. Then you've got the smart parking assistant on the fob. So you can push and hold the forward button there and watch this. So you have to be fairly close to this to work, but it can go both in and out. Nobody's in the car. So it's moving us forward. You can release, unlock. In order to get inside, opening up the front, just going to push and hold there. See there, release and up it goes. So power release there and then manual down. Using the fob itself is straightforward. So you've got the lock button, unlock button, trunk release. So you're just going to push and hold there in order to be able to activate the power trunk. And then you can push the button in order to close or button push there to close it instead. From here, in order to remote start, just make sure you're locked first, and then you're going to push and hold that little circle button. See there, remote started. See the cluster screen is now enabled, and you're good to go. You can push and hold that circle button there in order to be able to cancel a remote start. And then there are two cool key fob tricks that you can do with the vehicle. So first one, you want to make sure that you're locked. And let's say if, you're gone, if you've gone shopping, you've got a handful of groceries, kids, whatever the case may be. I'm just going for a walk because you have to get a little bit away before this trick works. So as long as the feature is enabled and you've got the key fob on you, you're just going to walk up to the back end. Watch this. <laughs> so you could press the lock button to pause this part way if you wanted to or to stop it from going, but smart trunk such a cool feature and if you want to push and hold there in order to close but i love that smart trunk feature like rather than your traditional foot activated lift gate you'll find in other cars with this one even if the sensors are covered in snow it's still going to work and then there is one other key fob trick and that's if you push and hold the unlock button watch this windows start rolling down you can release to pause it push and hold again in order to continue the cycle. So it lowers the driver passenger windows in the first and the second row. So good. Now it is going to be power down, but it's manual back up. But in order to make sure those features are enabled, turn the car on. Now there's a lot to the steering wheel, the cluster, the infotainment system, things like that. So if you want full walkthroughs, You'll find that down in the description. But to make sure these features are enabled, you've got a series of options here, but you're gonna go vehicle, door, and then door, you've got a few options here. So you could select the height of the lift gate if you wanted to. So if you wanted to have it open, full open, etc. But back in this setting, you can also enable or enable the smart lift gate. So that's the one where when you walk to the back, it's gonna open up. And then the remote window control to be able to roll those windows down. Like I said, it's going to be a uh, power down, but, Manual back up. So, really straightforward, but that's how you use the key fob inside of the Kia EV9.